Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a, another eating show slash mukbang if that's how you say it um, I'm going to be doing Hungry Jacks slash Burger King, we call it Hungry Jacks here Basically the same type of stuff, so yes Hope you enjoy, I might just actually vlog it on my vlogging camera because that is if the weather's like still okay and the sun's still out But um, I can't be bothered setting up my big camera so this will be a lot easier um, I really hope you enjoy and I'll see you when I have some food. Bye! Okay, hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So I have my ring light now. I'm not relying on natural lighting like I did before. So, I went to Hungry Jack. It actually looks like, it, a, like it's a Burger King bag. I had Burger King when I was overseas and it kind of just looked like this, so... Anyways, starting with the food, I got nuggets. There's actually nuggets in there, so don't worry. Onion rings, a burger, some chips, and another burger, some sweet and sour sauce. I'm gonna quickly take a thumbnail <laughs> before I eat all of it. I'll probably just do it with the bag, to be honest, so. Okay, <laughs> hope there's enough things for my thumbnail in there. So, what should I get started with? I might, start with the nuggets so i mean what's everyone opi everyone's opinion are macca's nuggets better or are hungry jack's nuggets better i don't think i've actually had hungry jack's nuggets before so let's see if this tastes familiar i'm gonna put everything here because i'm eating in my room and i don't want it to get stained like my bed to get stained so i'm gonna open this really carefully Oh my god, what? This smells like Asian, like, sweet and sour sauce. I mean, duh, it is sweet and sour sauce. But, like, it doesn't smell like Macca's. And the nuggets aren't that crispy, but they look pretty good, so. Let's eat. Damn. These are a game changer. Mmm. Oh my god, these are amazing. I love this sauce with it too. Mmm. So, I've had Burger King before when I was overseas. And I love their burgers so much. Like, I would prefer them over any other fast food industry. Um, and Hungry Jacks, I mean, I don't know why it's not like as popular as McDonald's in Australia, if that makes sense, so. Did you hear that? My window's open, so. You might hear some outside noise. I'm looking up here because, I mean, the viewfinder's right there, so. Might as well just check how I look every 10 seconds. I really hope you guys enjoy these mukbangs because I love filming them. I mean, who wouldn't? You're eating and talking to a camera. Just great. Don't have to interact with anyone else. It's just amazing. I don't know what people talk about. I have one nugget left. I feel like I inhaled them. So I got two burgers that I have never tried before. I got the what did I get? The tender crisp peri peri burger, which is like chicken based. And then I got. Um, a hash brown cheeseburger, which sounded pretty interesting to me, so that's exciting. So I wanted to talk about some subjects, I just wobbled the camera. But, um, let's have some chips. Oh, some onion rings, yes. So, um, I want to talk about, oh my god, the onion ring doesn't fit to dip it in. I love onion rings for some reason. I mean, they're just onion, like, deep fried. I mean, fries are just potatoes deep fried. I must sound really dumb right now. <laughs> so, I am 20 years old. Just turned 20. I just wanted to say, don't feel pressured to have your life figured out. I have been trying to figure out what to do with my life since high school. I feel like everyone has had it like a, not a thing that defines them, but something that they're really interested in, that they've gone to study at uni or they've gone 
to work in, like fields that they're just really passionate about and they've been passionate about them for ages. And I feel like I've just not gotten that yet. And I mean, time's not ticking by, like I'm not like old, but like one day I will be and I don't want to regret not, sorry, this sauce, like I'm trying to undo it and it's just not happening. Um, I don't want to regret things, but I also don't want to set my anxiety off, even though that's kind of inevitable, like you don't know what's going to trigger your anxiety. Like I know for me, like I have anxiety 24 seven. I wake up with it. I fall asleep with it. So it's just hard to pinpoint or try and avoid things that are going to kind of trigger your anxiety. I think that it just kind of like sucks. I got a full-time job as soon as I finished high school, studying that for a couple of years. And then I finished there because it was literally draining me. It's not what I wanted to do. It was earning me good money, but it was just like physically and mentally draining. And I just didn't enjoy it one bit. And it just like, some people can stick it out. I obviously couldn't. I don't like, I don't think of myself as weak, but I kind of think of myself as like, why couldn't you have just stuck it out? It's not going to be you forever. Plus your job doesn't define you either. So I just think that my anxiety got worse and worse. Like in high school, I didn't really deal with it that much. I'd get anxious before a test or before like things like that on an exam or anything like that. But I never like, I never felt anxiety to the point where I fall asleep with it, wake up with it every day. And it just sucks because you think you're alone because people around you aren't dealing with it. But when you get on the internet and you kind of search, like you Google, like, like I Google symptoms of my thing. Like, even if I feel just like something wrong, I'll Google like, what can this be? And I just think I'm literally dying like all the time. So we just want comfort and reassurance that we're not the only ones dealing with things. And that's my kind of way of doing that because um, I have lost a lot of friends since finishing high school, which is fine. People move on, you drift apart, blah, blah, blah. But my boyfriend has a lot of friends. He goes to uni, he works. And you can't help but think like, what's wrong with me? Like, why don't I have that? And it's just a bit hard to put yourself out there when you just feel like you're not good enough for anyone. I'm just insecure as well like I'm sure I know my boyfriend all the time but he's so great to stick by me like literally all the time and sometimes I just think he could walk away like he doesn't have any like who doesn't have to stay with me and work through it so that kind of boosts my self-esteem a little bit and makes me think okay maybe I am worth it like I'm not saying that you have to rely on others but it helps it definitely helps and as human beings, I think all of us can agree that having people who care about you helps a lot. And yeah, <laughs> I don't want to keep going on about that because I know a lot of people just want to see me eat, so I'm just going to eat. But yeah, what other topic can I talk about? Let's start on the burgers because I'm about to, I just finished the onion rings. Nope, one onion ring left. Let's finish that off. I still have chips. I'll finish them soon. So I'm gonna try the hash brown cheeseburger. Let's open this up. Oh, lettuce. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So there's a hash brown in there. Then there's the cheese, the meat, and the sauce. Let's see if I can show you a bit better. You can see the hash brown hanging out the side. So let's try this. That's weird, but nice. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, it's basically a french fry, like a big french fry in a burger. I always put, um, chips in my burgers like always so this is no foreign taste to me but it is a bit weird like 
I would normally love hash browns. Pretty good though. They had another one called Rodeo Burger and it had onion rings in it. But I thought I love onion rings so much I'm just gonna get a side of them. This actually all was pretty cheap. It was like $16. I mean, not healthy, but pretty cheap. My family were having pasta tonight and I was like, look, pasta's no big deal. Pasta's not that great for you either. So I might as well just order all this food and eat it. I spilt a lot of like sesame seeds on my bed. So I'm just trying to pick them off, but. Mmm. Thank you guys so much for nearly 800 subscribers as well. I mean, I'm like 30 subscribers away from 800, but it means a lot because some of you might know that um, YouTube has changed like their monetization policy or whatever. And um, people lower than, with subscribers lower than a thousand have, or, and 4,000 hours watch time have been just like, Demonetized, so I'm not making any money from these YouTube videos as of now. I'm pretty sure I am anyway. Like I don't think I'm making any money from these. But even so, like I am so thankful for people watching my videos, actually being interested in like things. Like I never ever thought that people would be interested. I'm just so thankful. Like it really does mean hips to me and it makes me feel like I do have a place on this earth and to feel like that is priceless and I'm so happy. So thank you. You know it's so annoying when you freaking shave your legs. Number one, it goes like all spotty. I don't know what I do to deserve this, but it goes all spotty. And then you find it like you're rubbing your legs and you find out that like you've missed a whole patch of hair. It always happens to me. Like I'm just looking at it right now, like I've missed a whole patch of hair, but you know what? I'm so excited for winter to come around, so I don't have to shave my legs as often. This is a hard burger to finish. I need some water. You know when you like eat really fast and you can feel it digesting. Oh my god. <coughs> I just had a frog in my throat. You can feel it like digesting like through your throat. It's so scary, but it goes away and then you're okay again. Okay, I'm gonna have a few chips just to cleanse my palate. Oh my god! I just found another onion ring. Just ate it. Huh. My brother was like, if there are any leftovers, please give them to me. And I was like, okay. I don't think there's gonna be any leftovers. Sorry. You know what's really good? With Hunger Jack's chips, buy a storm with flake. Get like a small chips, dip your chips in that storm. It is so good. It looks like I have an Adam's apple. It is so good, I swear to God. Let's go with this tender crisp burger. Okay, so I just gave my chips to my brother because even though I film in this video, I don't wanna die. So I'm gonna get this Perry Perry burger on the way. I really hope it's not too spicy because it says it's spicy. There's tomato in here, it's a bit. Yuck, 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 I hate it. So this is what the burger looks like. Oh, <gasps> that's so freaking spicy. So, the orange sauce is the peri peri. Ta-da, <laughs> it looks so gross, but let's give it a go. That's a good burger. The spice is not too much. <sighs> like it's okay. <laughs> is it? I don't know. I really wish I was more interesting. But I'm just eating. Whew. I really wish Australia had more like fast food outlets because I'm not saying that everyone should get fat, but like America has so many, and I feel like we're limited. Now I'm about to finish this burger. Can she do it? I have this much left. 
so you guys <clears throat> I was defeated by Hungry Jacks not too bad though I didn't think I was gonna like be anywhere near finishing but I came pretty close so pretty proud of myself if I do say so myself I will not be doing that again for a long while I don't eat like this all the time <gasps> oh my god <laughs> I don't eat like this all the time um obviously or else I would be like pretty chunky um, but these videos are very fun filming for you guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. I'm so close to 800 subscribers, so keep that in mind. Um, and if you want to see more of me, subscribe. I already said that. Anyways, I'm in a food coma now. Not having any dessert. Actually, I might. I don't know. But I didn't buy any dessert from Hunger Jacks just because... This was clearly enough, um, but next time I might do KFC or Subway or something like that. I mean, those ones are a bit more expensive, but we shall see. Anyways, have a great day or night or morning or evening or whatever, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. That was such like a big change. Like, see you in my next video. Bye. Peace.